Joining us now, Congresswoman Michelle Steele of House Education and Labor. Congresswoman, it's great to have you back on. Why are House Republicans demanding Biden's education secretary turn over all communications with the school board's association, the DOJ, the White House, on the targeting of school board parents as domestic terrorists? What does the education department have that we don't know about? You know what? Actually, Attorney, Attorney General uh, Garland said he's not really collecting any of these, and they're not really tagging these parents. And then we found out that they were tagging. So there were internal information between Education Secretary Cardona and Attorney General uh, Garland that they have all these informations, and they're actually treating these parents as a threat. So we want to see all those internal informations, and Congress has to review, and we have to look at it, how they can actually treat parents that they treat, you know, try to speak up on behalf of their children, and they are getting treated like, uh, you know, domestic terrorists. It's not going to be acceptable. So we are asking all the documents and turn over those documents so, and internal communications. So the point is, is that while you have people ostensibly saying things in the media, that behind the scenes there could be bureaucrats in the education department working with the DOJ uh, workers and, and staffers at the White House to continue to target and go after parents as if they're ISIS when they're just upset with what school boards are doing to their children. Is that it, that we have these actors behind the scenes we don't know about and we need to find out what's going on? Is that what's going on, That's Congresswoman? It. Mm -hmm. That's okay. exactly it. What they're saying is they are not doing it, but what they've been doing it. So we want to see all those internal documents, and we want to look at it because these parents, they know about their parent, you know, their kids the most, not the government. So I'm going to really speak up for the parents. You know, to your point, Representative Daryl Issa was with us last night, Congresswoman. He would likely agree with you. Let's listen to what he had to say. Watch this. Well, you know, if the AG had admitted to it, he would have been admitting to the kind of wrongful conduct that we haven't seen since Jager Hoover went after Martin Luther King. The fact is targeting the innocent, targeting any group simply because they're an inconvenient truth when they protest at school boards is no different than the civil rights movement, no different uh, than when Lois Lerner targeted uh, uh, Tea Party groups uh, for their beliefs. The fact is, it's weaponizing government agencies against people that are your political adversaries. In this strange case, the political adversaries are moms caring about the, their kids getting an education. And Congresswoman, look at this. The watchdog, the inspector general for the Justice Department, is now warning in a brand new report that, yes, the Justice Department is becoming politicized. Your word on that. They are too much politicized. They should not. And especially, they are going after these parents that who are speaking up on behalf of their children. I think they should stop this because they know much more about their children than government or school board members. So they, that's the reason that they are speaking up. All right. Congressman Michelle Steele, thank you so much for joining us. We'll have you back again soon. It's good to see you.